they were worthy to suffer shame for his name. Will you serve Jesus faithfully? Will you serve Jesus faithfully? You know, I am thankful for many of the newcomers in our church, aren't you? Are you thankful for visitors and also many of our newcomers? I am so thankful for them. And I will always remind all of us, including me, that we, we have a smile on our face and we're ready to, to shake hands and get to know people. Hey, tell me who in this church, until just very recently, was the very best at getting to know anybody who would walk through the front door. Mrs. Brockett. She was amazing. She knew every person that, that attended Maranatha Baptist Church, and she also, she also knew those that were newcomers. She was tremendous. Uh, I'll tell you, she, uh, she was one who, who inspired me. She would say, Pastor, now, there was that one couple that came that one Sunday. Um, uh, have they been back since then? And, and uh, I was looking for them. And, they, you know, they have a little girl. And, I mean, she's, I'm sitting there going, oh, man, i got to think. What is, she, what is she talking about? Man, I'll tell you, I love that. But you want to know what I love about Mrs. Brockett? She has served Jesus faithfully for not years, not, not, uh, uh, you know, uh, even a, a string of, uh, or a decade or so. We're talking about stringing decades together that she has served the Lord. Man, I'll tell you something. When someone does come into this fellowship and they begin to step up and say, I, I just want to be used. I want to serve God. I want to, I want to. I just want to serve, and, and, uh, and that's what we want to hear. I say amen. But can I tell you, I am thankful. I am thankful for, for those of you have, who have demonstrated over the years your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. I'm talking about through thick and thin, through difficult times. You always have known that being faithful to the Lord has to be your highest priority. You will serve Jesus faithfully if you love him. Out of a love for Jesus Christ, the disciples serve faithfully in all circumstances, in and out of prison, in large cities and small villages. And when the opportunity came at any time, any place, they served. And that's why I'm no different than anyone else. You show me someone who wants to get something done for the Lord and I'll say, you know what? When, when I can look back, should the Lord tarry and have as many years uh, to serve the Lord as Russell and Mary Mapes have, I will feel like I've kind of, uh, I have the right to stand in their shadow. Amen? Amen? And that's what service is all about. That's what faithfulness is all about. And so, do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? What does your life reveal? Father, we do thank you for tonight. Looking forward to this sweet time of prayer. We pray your blessing upon this prayer time. And Lord, we just know, we just know that, that there's not a one of us here who would not say, oh Lord, I love you. But Lord, help me to love you more. Help me to love you more. Help me to focus on my love for you. Not my doing for you, not what I've done for you, but my love for you. Because every doing and done has to be an outward expression of what our heart is already feeling. Speak to these hearts and this pastor in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.